I want to welcome you to God's presence this very hour because the Lord has a message for you and that message is the message of transformation and his message that will turn your story around. The Bible says he sent forth his word and his word healed them and delivered them from their destruction. It is the word that delivered. It is the word that delivered. It just a word can transform your life, can turn every situation of your life around and i want you to sit back and listen to the word of the law from the mouth of his servant apostle jesus channel and i also want you if you have not subscribed to this channel do so to subscribe so that they so that you too can bring this message before other people i want to encourage you to set your heart on what god has it is time to hear the word of the lord and may you remain blessed as you walk with the word of the lord in jesus name Amen. Without growth, there is no fruitfulness. Fruitfulness is a direct product of growth. If you see a baby that is pregnant, would you run away? Is that normal? Come on, talk to me, adults. Is that normal? No. No matter what genetic explanation they give, in Africa, we'll call that person a witch. Wherever you came from, you are older than this body you are entering. And you will talk to the spirit and say, you can't be that young. And maybe in some places, they may even completely throw away that... that because fruitfulness is a product of growth if you go and plant mango seed and by the next day you see a tiny branch and you see mangoes bigger than it you will not eat that mango because we were trained to respect fruitfulness when we find growth are we together now so most people brag about being fruitful but they do not want to grow if you do not grow you cannot be fruitful be fruitful in ministry be fruitful in business, be fruitful in destiny, it is product of growth. Please say growth. And I have taught you that success is not what you seek. Success is what you attract by who you are becoming. Your growth is how success is attracted to you. Are we together? The moment you transit into superior versions of you, you begin to attract a certain kind of people, a certain kind of resources, a certain kind of influence these are irrefutable spiritual laws luke chapter 2 and verse 52 and jesus increased i like that scripture and jesus increased even though the word of god even though the fountain of wisdom he subjected himself to this law he increased what does that mean another measure of that increase came to him in wisdom in stature in favor with god and with man once upon a time, I would never be able to say the whole globe should listen to me. Once upon a time, I was still alive, yet you will not come to hear me. Once upon a time, I was even anointed, yet you will not come to hear me. What happened? Growth. Growth. Once upon a time, it would be foolishness and a demonic attack for me to want to go to another nation and organize a conference. Where would the money come from? And if the money comes, where will the people come from? And if the people come, the level of grace to defend that call, say growth. This is very powerful. There are many people praying for realms that they are not willing to grow into and it will never come. Pastors are praying sincerely, Lord, give me a global vision. And they think all there is is anointing and one sermon ministry preaching only accounts for about 30 percent of ministry there are many other unseen aspects of ministry you can preach well and fail as if god did not call you breathe lord breathe breathe lord breathe breathe upon my life breathe lord breathe that is why even in the spirit there is something called spiritual growth are we together now there are things i can do now in the spirit i would not have been able to do 10 20 years ago not because it's not the same life i have but exploring the riches of that life and walking in dexterity the power the grace the wisdom 
are we together and there are many young people because of this arrogance of our generation believing i can do all things in christ they have dared certain things that are beyond the scope of their growth and beyond the level of the spiritual power that they carry and they have casualties to tell for it you see with all due respect you see this simple thing here coming to have all the fathers in a land and then you are making declarations and speaking over spirits let me tell you you better know where you stand before you take a risk like this there are people you do this kind of thing before the service is your dead body they will carry out as simple as it sounds because in declarations you are talking to spirits who are hearing you <laughs> it sounds very easy but there are idols in your own village you go and try it just go and gather the people and say i come i've read in my bible it shall take up serpents where is the, the those in charge of the shrine i'm not scaring you forget it if you don't grow there are things you will see in the bible but on trying it you've watched wrestling that's what we call wrestling wrestling that people jump and fly and you know fall down on one another and twist one another throw them they are playing they give disclaimers and say you are watching for entertainment make sure parents watch your children make sure they do not try it by the time you see your little child tie something on his neck because he wants to be superman and then he climbs the dining table and jumps up and falls does that mean that realm cannot be attained it can be attained by men but not a man as small as that boy there is something that boy can do and build muscles and stamina are we together one day the same person who was crying will now jump up and fall down that's how it is spiritually there is a level of capacity you must carry recognized by heaven and hell to be able to do certain things there are people today who have spoken over people i rebuke that 125 year course upon your life and by the next day they get into dementia they start forgetting everything and you are asking pastor what happened they 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 treaded a territory that their growth could not afford if growth was not necessary god will not appoint men to follow men nor men to ordain men are we together now is someone listening now yes we are talking decisions but it's important for you to listen growth when i was a child i thought like a child i acted like a child there are people who have refused to grow i'm going to say this because i want to round up by recapping something i've taught you but the lord put it in my spirit to challenge many people last year will look like this year this year will look like next year regardless the prophetic word that comes your 10 years will look like yesterday or even worse than yesterday if you do not understand the power of choices and decisions there are nations that when i travel to you will see something you once saw but when you get there you almost cannot know the place again because they have decided to improve and develop the place there are places you were as a child even with your eyes closed you can locate it as a child you were the one who hits the wall and that part in the wall you hit is still like that today now that you're an adult because nobody could fix whatever happened it's not good nations can decide to remain stagnated individuals can decide to remain stagnated families can decide to be a center of reproach and shame men can decide that i will not rise i will remain small i pray for you whatever has kept you down my dear people in the name of jesus who is the son of the living i'm praying that in this service you will begin to make constructive choices Prostitution is a choice. Arm robbery is a choice. Laziness is a choice. Prayerlessness is a choice. Wordlessness is a choice. Refusing to come to church is a choice. Having bad friends is a choice. Having good friends is a choice. Being a failure is a choice. It's just a choice whose dynamics you did not understand, but it's a choice. Being poor is a choice. 
being a mediocre is a choice living without help is a choice not enjoying the ministry of man is a choice failing in whatever you do is a choice becoming a child is a choice as powerful as the holy spirit is there are people here now who are not born again in all the overflows who are not born again the thousands following across the globe who are not born again he will be around you but he will respect you waiting for the moment you declare the lordship of jesus by yourself hallelujah now let me tell you the truth when god taught me this i made up my mind and I started making certain quality choices with my life. I want you to listen now. Fasten your seatbelt because we are going to rush very, very fast. I began to make certain choices with my life. And the Lord gave me an assurance that if I insisted on making and staying on those choices, that I will become a certain kind of believer. And we are not yet there in the fullness but we are determined to keep making those choices. Are we together? Yeah. He won't stop. He won't stop. Till my life looks like him. He won't stop. He won't stop. Till I look just like him. He won't stop. He won't stop. Till I look just like him. I remember many years ago I would see I would watch Reinhard Bonke crusade and watch people rise up from wheelchairs watch people throw crutches you know I didn't know the idea of being real or fake then those things were not in my mind but I was watching my God how can a man have this kind of power he was not with all due respect to him he's joined the cloud of witnesses he was not such an orator no he would not share some deep revelation from Greek and Hebrew. No. He would just stand and speak and fire that you can feel in your physical body. I said, what did this man touch? What kind of grace is this? How about T.L. Osborne? He was a sound teacher of the word. So he will teach and then you will see mighty miracles. How about Billy Graham? Billy Graham would teach like he's doing a discussion, like a lecture. You will almost feel sorry for him and think nobody evicted until he makes the altar call. You see people coming as if they are dragging a chain. Someone coming, you will know that this is the Holy Ghost pushing this man. Because the way the man's face is, you will know that that man should not be in front. And yet he's coming out. But today as we will shout and shout and shout and even beg people, even kneeling down okay can you come to jesus then we stand up we raise a song again we say i know there's one more person come on don't be ashamed and and there are many sinners watching even the people by their left and right know from the time service started they have exhibited characteristic of sinners the neighbors know the person should be in front and yet the person will not come out hallelujah because one person chose that as a simple stammerer that he would believe in God and he trusted God for the fire to fall and he made a choice his choice was simple God gave me a mandate that Africa shall be saved and with that this man went through all the disciplines by choice that produces an evangelist indeed T.L. Osborne went to India he read his Bible oh, and went to India. And when he went to India, he was praying and asked people, okay, you know, all of this, he finished preaching and the people were just watching him. At the end of it, he prayed, no salvation, no miracles. He left as if they drove him away. He returned back to America and said, God, something must be wrong. This is not what I see in the Bible. And the Lord told him that ministry happens with a demonstration of power. You do not call a people from one side of a belief system to another without a demonstration of power. He said, oh, that's it. He settled down and got genuine spiritual power. He went back to India. When he preached, they were still looking at him like that. And 
he said one blind person should come out one person on a wheelchair or i think on a crutch come out another person and in their presence those people got healed the place erupted erupted and without wasting energy he called people to jesus that's how it works maybe god is talking to someone if you go and do a crusade like that they will beat you on that ground I well, appreciate the Lord on your behalf because I believe that you listen to the word of the Lord and I believe that the, the word of the Lord has done something in your life and I join you to pray that whatever declaration or vision or idea that God bring into your mind may it come to pass in the name of Jesus may it manifest in your life speedily in the name of Jesus I still want to encourage you if you have not subscribed to the channel subscribe make a comment if you believe that God has blessed you and God has reached out to you through this message, tap Amen, type Amen on, on the comment section and remain blessed in Jesus' name. Amen.